Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and uh, today I have come with a very amazing trick and it is the extension of our previous discussion where uh, uh, we were discussing about effective pendulum systems. So guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and name of this problem is Oscillations of Particle in Spherical Shell. And guys, my current courses on Unacademy are course of INPHO Foundation and for J Advanced 2023. Emerge batch for J 2023. It has already started from 14th of May. And uh, advanced problem solving for J Advanced 2021 in special classes has uh, already started. And uh, we have uh, done one class so far. And today at uh, 7 15, there will be another cl uh, class for it. So please tune in for it. These are all free classes. And advanced GT 14, we have conducted so far. And in the upcoming days, <coughs> especially i think there will be tomorrow also there will be a uh, gt so please tune in for these and uh, advanced courses for je 2022 in hindi and english has already started and guys you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your j preparation you can unlock these courses on an academy using my code nitin sir and uh, for more info you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again uh, so here is the problem statement a tiny particle of mass m0 is connected at uh, one end of a rigid massless rod of length l the other end of the uh, rod is hinged at the periphery of a fixed smooth spherical hemispherical shell of radius r as shown in the figure the whole system is placed in uniform gravity of g the particle is uh, given a small disturbance into the plane of paper what will be the time period of a small oscillation of the particle so rod is given as massless uh, so here concept wise we can uh, reduce this problem into a effective uh, pendulum problem so for that we need to find out uh, the axis uh, of rotation and if we can locate we will be dropping a perpendicular uh, from axis of uh, on axis of rotation from the particle that is going to give us uh, the length of uh, G, l effective and component of g along this length will be the g effective this is the concept we have been developing uh, through previous problems so here you can see uh, the the given system can be treated as simple pendulum with effective length and effective gravity concept so here you can see so when i displace this uh, particle slightly so it is going to oscillate like this along the tangent to the spherical shell all right and if you see uh, this plane this will be one horizontal plane and uh, slightly tilted one and similarly here uh, you can see so uh, you can either treat uh, oscillations about this axis but if you join these two points we are going to get axis of rotation about which this uh, pendulum is going to oscillate uh, so you can see this length uh, this length on the axis of rotation if we drop the perpendicular is going to be the L effective and component of G which is uh, total G itself in this direction that is going to be the uh, G effective. So here you can see this effective pendulum length in this uh, situation is going to be uh, L effective which is L sin, th L sin alpha where alpha is this angle initially rod is making with the horizontal. So my time period expression is going to be t is equal to 2 pi under root of L sin alpha by G. Uh, right. And uh, you can see in the semicircle if uh, any triangle is present. So that triangle is going to be the right angle triangle. And uh, from here we can see this length uh, which is L sin alpha. And cos alpha value is going to be L by 2R. Cos alpha value is going to be L by 2R. So sin alpha value we can uh, calculate root of 1 minus cos square alpha. If I substitute the values. I'm going to get this uh, root of 4r square minus l square by 2r and I can write this time period as 2 pi under root of l sin alpha. So if I substitute the value of sin alpha here, I'm going to get this uh, answer as l by 2rg uh, root of 4r square minus l square. Guys, this is going to be the final answer. So I hope you are enjoying these uh, tricks and which reduces the problem uh, solution to just one or two lines and uh, the same answer you will be getting by conventional method uh, by using uh, a, a torque or uh, energy then also you are going to get the same answer so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, solution and if this is the case please leave a like share this video with others and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing video thank you thanks for watching it i'll be covering few more problems on effective can, uh, pendulum concept and in future so thank you